Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone at tariffyhealing.com. I hope you guys are doing really well. This is the monthly reading and it is for Libra. So let's see what is showing up for the Libras in August. So starting off with your finances, moving on to relationships and then your spiritual cards. Your finances cards is a two of swords with the nine of cups we got the nine of cups too with the seven of pentacles um what your cards are telling me is that you you're very indecisive about something that you're really wanting to achieve and do you don't know what direction to go in it's difficult for you to decide you um are very open and wanting uh to manifest your desires you want to see an idea come to life there's something within you that is very creative that you want to see come into fruition for yourself it's going to take time though it's going to take patience it may take more money that you need to invest it may take more time for you to establish everything it's almost like for you to really for you to really get the payoff is going to happen down the line but what you invest now is going to be important to the payoff that you receive down the line this wish card isn't one of them cards in this scenario where it's just going to happen magically or it's just going to show up in your life because the universe is just going to drop it in your lap. I feel like it's more a situation of you actually having to make the efforts and put in the hard work in order for it to come about. Because with the Seven of uh, Pentacles card, it's almost like you have to nurture it. You have to take your time. You have to let it grow. You have to be able to give it what it needs, give an idea what it needs. You have to really be able to feed it in order for it to establish into something. So um, I would say keep on dreaming and with these dreams, know that they are real. They can happen. They, they can come about for you. So don't get discouraged. But you do have to become very clear on your dreams. Like if you want to manifest something, you have to be clear on what it is you're trying to manifest. You can't stay in a period of, of doubt or um, a feeling of uncertainty because the universe doesn't respond to that <laughs> the universe will only help you create something if your intention is very clear if you know exactly what you're, you're wanting what how you're going to get into it what you're going to do and so i feel like right now there's a lot of unanswered questions and there's a lot of things that you kind of have to sit down and really go you know you know go back to the drawing board on and really work out the details of things and i feel like if you work on the details then something is going to come about but I almost feel like August is the time for you to really plant the seed. If nothing is really, I feel like, going to come about with these new things, to be honest, in August, I feel like that's more going to happen, like, the following months, like, the months that come afterwards. But, and especially being that it's, like, seven, it could be saying, you know, yeah, this might be, this, like, something may not fully manifest until maybe, like, the ending of the year or more towards the end of the year. But I feel like whatever you're doing now is going to help for that thing to come into full fruition and is going to help it to be finalized, for it to be profitable and everything like that. I kind of feel like partially the reason why it's taken a while is for, for it's because of your own uncertainty. It's almost like you could be like not really intentionally, but I feel like you can be the one almost, you know, slowing down the process because again of kind of being uncertain. I would say if there's help or assistance that you need, like a mentor or a guide or something, maybe that might be a good thing for you to kind of look at just to get a bit of direction. Um, it might be good to get somebody else on board, especially with that you're a Libra. Sometimes working with somebody else that can kind of um help you especially with the decision making process help you with your vision a little bit it may actually help so yeah that's just something to consider so let's get into the reading for those of you that are single and let's see what the cards say so if you're single your first card is the six of swords with the ten of pentacles with the queen of pentacles so what these cards are saying is basically 
I kind of get this feeling that for some of you that are single, you're very devoted to members of your family. I, I kind of get the impression that there's somebody in your family that really needs you right now. They could, in fact, be an older person or a person that their health isn't very good. And they may be wanting you to um, spend time with them. Or maybe you're just going to be going over and visiting them quite frequently. So I kind of get this impression that you might be caring for somebody um, quite a bit. For some of you guys, you may be traveling towards this person to see them. Or you might be traveling yourself elsewhere and um, for you to spend quality time with either your children um, or uh, kids in your family as well. It could be that too or just other family members in general. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is kind of telling me that you are there to almost be like a, a, a to offer um almost like motherly love but i feel like for some of you guys this isn't necessarily meaning that you are going to be a mother or that you are a mother right now but it's almost like there is some nurturing that you can give on to somebody else and i feel like they really need it and um it's, it's almost like you're there to really provide that kind of love and support for them so i kind of get the impression that i don't really see like a love relationship per se in terms of like maybe you know a romantic relationship but i see a love relationship in terms of like family and people that are really close to you um at this time so if you are in a relationship with someone you have the ten of wands now the ten of wands is definitely one <laughs> that is representing your relationship libra because that one has showed up twice um for you because i did make this video previously and had to remake it then you have the three of swords then you have the oh ten of swords relationships are challenging in august libra i kind of get the impression that you are tired of dealing with a person if you're tired of their crap or their nonsense i kind of get the impression that you are feeling like you're carrying the relationship you're feeling like you're the one investing your time your efforts your energy into things and you might not be feeling like you're getting that kind of love and support back that you're putting into the relationship and I feel like that's going to make you feel betrayed or make you feel hurt or make you feel like you're not getting the love that you need. And it's going to be really upsetting towards you because you feel like you've invested so much and you've tried your best and you've really tried to keep things going. But it's just been, you know, obstacle after obstacle or problem after problem. And you tried to really stick with things. But now you're starting to sort of face the reality that this other person really is, is determined not to pull their weight and to play their part in things and it's kind of creating more stress and more upset and more anxiety in your world because of this other person and a part of you may be thinking because there's two 10 cards showing up here you may be thinking about you know leaving or ending a relationship situation because it is too stressful for you or it is too much of a burden on you and you just can't be asked for it anymore and i think that you've been hurt enough um by this relationship or by the circumstances of things and you're just not prepared to keep on going with it um this card can also represent when you feel stabbed in the back in some kind of way and so can this one actually represent being um stabbed in the back so i kind of get this feeling of really feeling a sense of betrayal um by somebody else that you had feelings for and um yeah that's kind of what i see in those cards um for some of you you may feel but that's the thing for some of you guys you may feel like ending the relationship where i feel like for some others you may be feeling like you're kind of stuck in this relationship for some reason and like even though you're not happy with the circumstances you're not really prepared to leave as yet so yeah um, so let's see Oh, and I kind of get the impression that's just something else that just came through <laughs> as a continuation. I also get the impression that maybe the reason why some of you guys, you know, are considering staying isn't necessarily because you feel that the relationship has a means of getting better, but it might be a con situation where you're thinking, or it might be just too difficult for you to sort out everything, like if you had to move out. I don't know if you guys have been living together, you have like joint finances or joint situations that makes it a bit more challenging for you to just walk out and leave but i kind of feel like there is 
there would like it would be a process if you had to kind of leave this individual as well like it won't be as simple as you just packing up and going so um your final card that represents your spirituality is the king of pentacles with the devil card with the king of swords so these are interesting spiritual cards on a spiritual level i feel like you have to maintain your position and it's not going to be easy the devil kind of represents our temptations represents um it could be a person in your life that wants to control things uh wants things to be a certain way it can represent addictions as well but i'm kind of seeing that being that these are your spiritual cards it's saying that you have to fight some of these um i don't want to say evils I, I like it's almost like you have to fight what is what is the issue like like almost like you have to confront the problem Libra that's kind of what I'm seeing I feel like there are issues that are happening and you're not really confronting them there's something that is going on and you're not really um able to 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 really fight it because of the fact that you're not willing to address it like I kind of get the impression with the king of pentacles that things have kind of stayed the same there hasn't been a change and you're still and, and it's like you may be um still trying to work your way you know trying to trying to help the situation trying to do what you feel is required of you but it's really difficult because you're you're dealing with such a um you're you're, you're dealing with behaviors that are not conducive to any kind of real progress if you get what i'm saying you're dealing with an so this could be coming from another person or this could be coming from you you know yourself but i'm kind of getting the impression that you're you're dealing with this kind of energy where you it has to be it has to be gotten rid of basically but you have to be prepared to address the issue you have to be prepared to face it um as it is and to call it for out for what it is so this is not isn't isn't a time to make excuse, excuses for other people's behavior it also isn't a time to excuse your own if there are certain things that aren't right that are being directed at you or certain things within yourself that aren't right it's saying that you have to kind of deal with those problems you have to really face those issues and be prepared to sort those things out um because it's not going to get better it's always going to be a problem that is going to linger there and if anything, it's going to get worse. So to me, the King of Swords is kind of saying this is the time for you to kind of step into action and be more active or, or proactive in terms of creating the changes that you need to. Don't stick to what is old and what is just stuck and what's not really working um, right now or trying to, again, um, make good out of a bad situation um especially with the devil card because this devil isn't going to change so if you're dealing with a certain person that has this devil kind of vibe to them this person isn't going to change <laughs> and you you know if this was you well you you can do the work on yourself to change because at the end of the day um we can always work on ourselves but we can't affect the we can't um force uh, somebody else to do something that we want them to do what that they're not prepared to do because they have free will choice and so i feel like if you're dealing with a person that's like that it's saying that you have to kind of face the realities of the situation and deal with it appropriately so peace and many blessings to you libra i'll be seeing you bye